Hi guys, we're just going to be taking a look here at February's Earth Predictions for 2015 using the Psi cards. We'll see what's in store for us just globally on the planet and for the vibration of Earth herself as well. So let's see what shows up. Okay. The tree. Peace. The stars, the lyre, and the voyage. Ooh. The tree I often think of in terms of family trees, so it can be uh, family issues that crop up. You know when you get that something sad happens when families are involved, like sons and families or parents and children so there could be something globally that comes to the headlines about some um, sad event where family connections are tied in and sometimes it can be well-known families as well the other thing is it's a very red card and we think then of fires so this can be um, fires that are involved forests or outdoor type fires that involve the land so that can also be slightly volcanic related because this even looks a little bit like lava flowing down here. It can also be um, so hot fires. So maybe somewhere globally we're, we're in for a heat wave where there are fires. Now, in, since it's February, that's most likely to be the southern hemisphere and it could be around Australia. Okay, and if we move on to the peace card... I often say, even though it says peace, it can mean the opposite. So I tend to feel we, we get a surge in some sort of violence around the planet. It can be human-related war-type violence. So the first thing that comes to mind is the terrorist activity that's going on globally, which of course has increased since um, the Sydney bombings in December. It seems to be on a bit of a surge. There could also be some other form of unrest or lack of peace. It could be to do with protesters even. Or it could be to do with one of the other countries that are currently showing unrest, such as the Ukraine and Russia, or up through the Middle East, through Iraq, or any of those type of situations. Now the other thing is, if we see this beautiful Mandela-looking... Uh, window at the end of this structure which appears to be a church of some sort you see the light shining down onto it so there's some sort of symbolic evidence or something going on along those lines as well and we see the light coming in and I think of the sun so I think of solar activity so February could see either an increase in solar activity which if you follow suspicious observers in particular on YouTube we know for a fact that solar activity aligns to our own planetary weather systems, which we can see an increase in storm-related systems, as well as volcanic activity and quake activity. It could also be to do with planet lineup. So there may be something in February that we watch to take care of, or, or we're looking up at the skies to see something along to do with our planets or uh, bodies, celestial bodies that traverse our skies one way or another, whether this is little asteroids, meteorites or something along those lines. And given that this card is right next to it, classically is telling us about looking up at the stars and look at the maps. The whole thing is pinpointed to positions in the galaxy about stars or planets or something. So, so that's the message for that one. This one has only come out probably two times in the whole length of years I've been doing these readings. So I haven't got a full um, intuitive feel yet for what the stars represents, but it has to be to do with something in our skies. I wonder if we have a, an eclipse or something coming. I'm not sure about February. I haven't checked that. It could also be to do with looking up to the sky, so therefore space information exploration, uh, things coming from the sky, f so falling from the sky, could be that. The Liar card is another one that hasn't turned up often. 
I often think of it as shaking, so quakes. So there could be a relatively large quake for February. And another thing I think of is literally a liar. So someone being ousted of their whatever it is they've been trying to keep hidden comes out to the public eye and it can be quite often important information or big key people globally that they get pinged one way or another with something that they've been trying to hide. Then we get the voyage card up here. Again we're looking at the sun and, it, and actually interestingly it's sitting right on top of this one. So I get a double message to do with the sun and things coming from the sky. The two messages right on top of each other so there is something for February about that. Quakes I sometimes think of for this card up through the um, middle European area, Afghanistan, Pakistan, up through the older parts of Europe. We look at this, we think of ships, so possibly some shipping incident in February will occur that gets global um, not notice. Also sea, something to do with our sea. So whether or not it's storms that are formed at sea or some unusual activity that occurs at sea. Whether or not a tsunami could be um, registered would be something to keep an eye on. Um, and the destruction was just an end card. It's sort of it's sitting up here half out of the reading. It kind of fits with the the piece, you know, just the warring issues, and it also sits with the fire. So I think those three cards have quite a predominant role for February. So anyhow guys, we just keep an eye on it, that's what our planet is doing, it's what's going on. We can, um, you know, f focus positively, you can, you can hear this type of stuff and then you can decide to put your particular energies and thoughts towards the positive perspectives of ad addressing these issues or think to put your thoughts out around those areas to um, give them positivity you know, to give them protection or to help calm any situations down that occur. So thanks for listening and I trust you all have a good, happy, safe February. Kia kaha and much aroha.